Hey everyone, we're here with the Inspire Comfort white frameless infrared panel heater from Herschel. This is the 750 watts, 120 volts at 6.3 amps. And here is the mounting brackets for uh, putting into your drywall if you want to hang it on your ceiling or on your wall. It's a pretty sharp looking product, but it didn't come with its flaws through shipping. You can see the plug here is kind of bent and also on the back here you can see some of the mounting brackets and some of the spacers and the spacers are here to stop the panel from wobbling back and forth and here's the details of the specific product it's ip44 and yeah it's overall a good product with some possible issues with shipping uh, there's a dent in this one so we went ahead and reached out to Herschel and they sent a replacement and also didn't give directions on returning the one. So it looks like we at the moment have two 750 panels. So might end up installing this one in a room a little bit less conspicuous, but here are the dimensions of the panel for the 750 watt one. You can get some that are bigger and some that are slightly smaller as well on their website. Okay. So, few things to talk about. We had the electrician come in, install this panel. Now, one of the problems is that you can kind of see it right there. This thing was just ruined. I don't want to say ruined too much, but you know, it was kind of screwed up. So guy installed this, um, kind of nicked up some of the items here in terms of the actual drywall. So he's like, yeah, just, just put some paint on it. I'm just like, just don't nick the freaking like if you need help ask for help but you can you can see it really bad there so these were from herschel so they're they're flying over from the uk so i can't really blame them for like like them getting dinged up here but they sent a new one this one looks pretty flawless and this one also isn't super bent as you can see here so yeah, I think uh, we can work with this. Um, so what I'm gonna do, and also we installed this here. So that was the other thing was that they, uh, this is not super easy. Like, I feel like they should have built this thermostat in here. Um, and so you can control it, but they didn't. So it's really quite annoying that they didn't just build it into the, or maybe have it wireless or something like that. But yeah, since they didn't, we had to hardwire this and I'll show a diagram of what this actually looks like. But yeah, you had to set this up and sort of hardwire it to the specific line that this is on so that the thermostat knows what this is doing and what the temperature is in the room. So um, this thing is on currently. You can feel a lot of the heat radiating down to the ground here and it does make it down to the ground. So I can actually feel that the floor actually is pretty warm. So it, it does a pretty good job of, you know, distance wise, how far it goes. Now I have to go upstairs into the attic and unplug this because this has a hole into the attic um, because he mentioned if he put it flush on here with the outlet um, on the ceiling, then there probably wouldn't be enough room. So yeah, there's a hole in the drywall up into the attic and yeah, we gotta go fish this through, plug it in, and then we should be good. Uh, but I also have to take this down and uh, yeah, all of that. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And then we'll set this thing up so that we're not reading this in Celsius versus uh, Fahrenheit. <laughs> and then we can get all the controls in the app and whatnot and control this. Let's head up into the attic. All right, so it looks like it's over there. You can see a little plug up there. It's kind of uh, janky. Is that a two by four? It is, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, am I not stepping on a two by four? All right, maybe we'll just leave this light on. I can do without this glove. 
I gotta watch my head because there's nails here coming through. I can unplug this. The light should go, or everything should turn off on the flip side. And I gotta find this hole here and where this is coming in from. Okay, so there's the hole. Need to unplug this and then put it down the hole. All right. Damn it, I was trying to do, get no insulation up. <laughs> All right. I feel like there's like sand in my mouth. There that goes. There we go. And now we can see all the handiwork that this fool did. I'm just gonna pat it down, spray it a little bit with this cover and stuff. And then pat it down with a paper towel. That's what I'm gonna do. So we cleaned up the floor a bit and now the fun part is trying to mount this thing with one person, which is why I think he was having trouble and why he ended up scratching things and stuff like that. But I think in general it's not being careful enough, but we'll see who has the last laugh. Shove this in here. That one seems like it's in. <laughs> I would say yes, probably in now. I got a few smudges here, but I'll pull this thing up and we'll get it plugged in and then turn on. Nice. Okay, so first things first is that I was looking at the directions on how to set up the MD2 controller. So that's this lovely thermostat. So what you have to do is actually hold the off button or the power button, and then you get this, and then you hit the settings button in the bottom left once. And then this starts blinking and then you can set it up. This thing says, hold the long press the power button and then enter the Wi-Fi to enter the Wi-Fi connection. And then long press the this. I long pressed it. It didn't do anything. So you just tap it. So for this particular model here that you can see, yeah, you just tap it, and then you can set it up with your. Uh, you can set it up with the smart light. There's no smart here. features built in. So the only reason it knows how to do anything is this here. So. Yeah, I would want that built into the system so I don't have to hardwire this. That's kind of annoying that you would have to do that. Um, I think because there's not really any incentives, there's not really any perks from governments and different things like that. And that's probably the reason why a company like this doesn't have any of those smart features. But you can also, there's also some companies that have motion detectors so that the heat doesn't turn on unless you're in the room. So yeah, I think that's something that's nice, but it's also, you know, it's something that can hurt, work with Home Assistant. And yeah, like you can set everything up to be smart. I think this is nice because we can temperature control the room that's the coldest in our house and make sure that it doesn't get freezing in here. So yeah, with that said, let me know in the comments what you think and we'll do a proper review of this thing maybe a few months out just to give you a look at like how we think it is and if you should buy something like this for your home. But thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Let's try to keep as much insulin. Oh, in my eye.